Hello everyone, welcome back to You Can Automate. Today's session we are going to learn how to set up the Android Studio. In the previous session we have learned how to set up the Java. If you have not watched the previous video of how to set up the Java, I have given the URL in the description. Please go and watch it before continuing this. Uh, let's start with the setting up the Android Studio. Android Studio is a development uh, environment for Android operating system. If you want to develop Android uh, applications if you want to create some virtual devices and if you want to install some of the applications into virtual devices and if you want to play with the devices then you can go for android studio as a qa we need android studio for installing our softwares into emulator creating a different emulators on different operating systems so that's why we are installing this android studio before starting with the APM and WebDriver IO. What you need to do here, you need to go to Android Studio website. Just you can open one of the browser here and uh, you can search for Android Studio. And once you search for Android Studio, this is how the website looks like. You need to just click on download Android Studio, right? And it is a 1017 MB. It will take some while to download. So just you need to click on this button and agree for terms and condition. Uh, mine is a Mac uh, machine, so that's why it is showing like this. If you are uh, having a Windows machine, it will show as a Windows. Okay, just I click on this. Okay, to start downloading. So I have already downloaded this. I'm just closing this installation. So once you get downloaded the Android Studio in your machine, what you need to do, you need to just click on that and install it. Okay, it will take some one or two minutes to install. Once you install that, just open the Android Studio here. So I'm just clicking on Android Studio here. Once you install Android Studio, what you need to do, you need to go to Android Studio Preferences and inside this, there will be a path where it got installed. This is my path and which is under System Settings and Android SDK. This is where the Android Studio got installed. You just need to copy this particular path here go to your terminal and just i'm clearing this what you need to do here cd in this entire path okay so i'm navigating to this particular path here if i do ls here it is showing all the folders and here platform tools and tools these two folders are very important we need to add this path to our bash profile if you are using a different shell, then you need to go to a respective shell and add your path. So here I am using a bash shell. So that's why I am going to bash profile and I will add these two folders as a path in my path variable. So what I will do here, I will just uh, clear this. Before going to, before adding a path variable, first let me check whether that Android home is set up or not. So this is how we will set up the Android home echo in the capital android android underscore home right here right now it is empty so we need to set this path in our bash profile what i will do cd i'll go to my home directory to navigate to home directory i'll be using a tilt symbol cd tilt okay so i'll do vi dash vi dot bash underscore profile right here i have all the home directory and here i need to add path for that what i need to do i just i'll click on i keyword here and here i will go and type my path export right android underscore home equal to the entire path whatever i have so this entire path i will go and add it in my android home so after adding it here, I need to come to this path variable. Here also I need to add platform tools and tools. So just go to end of this path variable, enter a colon, enter colon. And here what you need to do, dollar android, android, android underscore home slash, you need to type platform hyphen tools again colon again you do the same thing android 
android underscore home slash tools right so these two paths you have added now and you are now set to start with android studio implementation and start using the virtual devices so then i will just write these two things and commit this i'm entering a colon and wq so that these two things are set up now let's do source and uh, dot bash underscore profile right these two things are done now if you do a echo and dollar android underscore home so it is showing the android home path here like this and to know how this uh, virtual devices uh, are accessible or not whether i'll be able to connect to a different devices or not there is one command called adb if you enter that adb command and if you press enter it will show all the details what is the version of the adb and it is installed in so and so path right so this is how you will confirm that whether android studio is set up successfully or not so so far we have seen how to set up the android studio and android home path in macbook right uh, now if you are a windows user then how to do that so there is a article given here how to set up i'll give this url in the description right say for example what you need to do you need to click on control panel that is a step one and go to a system in system you need to go to advanced system settings here and in advanced system settings you need to go to advanced and environment variable you need to click on and in the environment variable you need to add new variable you need to click on this new variable right after clicking on new variable you need to enter a key like this android underscore home and you need to provide wherever the android studio got installed right after that again you need to add a android home variable into path so you need to select the path and then you need to click on edit once you click on edit you need to add two things one is platform tools another is tools right so then you just need to click on ok and once you click on ok if, if you come to terminal and if you enter adb command in the terminal you will be able to see a details of adb what all got installed and it will show the version also by this you can confirm that whether my android studio got installed into my window system successfully or not okay this is about entire video of setting up the android studio in windows and mac os do try out this and do let me know if you have any questions thank you